Hello and welcome to lesson 9 of 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In today's lesson we're going to look at learning tangent arcs, coincident constraints, patterns on a path and offsets. We're going to apply them by drawing a brick archway uh, window in our brick wall that we drew last lesson. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is start by creating a sketch on the back face of the wall that we created on the last lesson. Okay, we're going to go back to using the centre point rect rectangle and I'm going to find the midpoint height and I'm going to sketch out, I'm going to say I want that to be six millimetres tall and five millimetres wide. I'm going, then going to put distance constraint on it, so middle to the bottom I'm going to say I want that to be seven millimetres and from middle to edge I want that to be uh, let's go eight, eight millimetres. Okay so that's rectangle to start with so the next thing we want to do is create the archway on the top. So we're going to go to create arc and then we're going to get tangent arc. Okay, so what we're going to do is click in the corner, drag that arcway around to the other side. What it means by being tangent is that where the two join, that's going to be a straight line going in that direction. If I was to start the tangent in, a, in the incorrect position, so if I was to start an arc coming in from this side and then go around, you'll see that I get like a balloon shape coming out of the top because it's trying to tangent across the horizontal line, not the vertical line that I want. So I'll go back to that tangent arc. I go over the top. So it's, it, it's the direction you drag in first is the direction it becomes tangent with. So now I've got my tangent arc coming over the top. We're then going to extrude this arch all the way through to the other side. And you can see as I drag it through, it cuts the arc layer. Okay, so <clears throat> most arches don't just have a cutout, they'll have like a plinth at the bottom and then a brick surround. So we'll start by drawing the plinth at the bottom here. So again, we'll start on the back wall, create a sketch, and we'll use two point rectangle and we'll click corner to corner, drag down. I want that to be one millimetre tall. We're going to define the distance across the bottom is five millimetres and then I'm going to extrude that through to the other side. This time I want it to join not cut because I want to have materials sticking out the other side. Okay I'm going to extrude that by 1.3 millimetres and I'm going to tell it that I don't want it to cut I want it to join. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've got my, my windowsill at the bottom. I now want to have the bricks going up and round over the arch. So again, we're going to go back round to the other side. I'm going to create another sketch on this back wall. And we're going to use the offset command at the top here, modify. And I'm going to offset from the arcway that we've just drawn. So if I click on that edge, I then get the offset. And I'm going to offset it by the width of the bricks that we were using, which were not minus 0.6, and then click on OK. Okay, that comes out of the um, uh, the offset settings. I've now got this archway that I wanted. The, the thing that I don't want though is this bit at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is click on that bottom line and just press the delete button. And then I'm going to get line again. I'm going to go from the bottom corner to the edge. Same on that side, bottom corner to the edge. Okay. So now I can extrude that drawing through to the other side. I'm going to come all the way through and I'm going to extrude it by minus 1.2 because I don't want it to be the same height as this, but equally I don't want it to be the same height as the bricks. 
when I do this, because of what my next operation is going to be with it, what I don't want to do is have it join. I want to create a new body. If I join it, then the next operation, which is the pattern on path, won't pattern properly. It'll try and pattern the whole wall rather than just this section. So we create a new body there. And you can see over in my bodies command at the top here, I've now got body one, which is the wall, and body two, which is that archway. Okay, so now we're going to draw the brick on here. Okay, so we're going to create a sketch on the front face of the arch. Okay, and essentially what we're doing is we're drawing the mortar lines again. So going back for my two point rectangle, and I'm just going to click on that edge. It doesn't matter where I line up for the moment. I'm going to come across to the other side. The thickness of the mortar is 0.2, and the thickness of the archway is 0.6. So they're now defined. Okay. The problem is this isn't where I want it to be. I want this to be in line with this piece of mortar here. Okay. So we're going to use the coincident constraint to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bottom corner, and it highlights going into a little circle there. Of my sketch, and I'm going to click on a point that's in line that I want to connect to. So there you can see I'm getting a little point coming up there underneath the mouse. Click on that. Coincident, try again. Click on that, and then they line up and they're locked in position. Okay, so I'm going to press escape to come out of the coincidence pointer back to normal. I'm going to extrude that. And cut off thickness from a mortar join that I was doing, which was 0.2 millimeters. Okay, click on OK. I've now got what looks like a brick as I'm looking at it from the front. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pattern that mortar all the way up and over the arch. So I'm going to go create pattern. Now, if I try to do rectangle, it won't deal with the circle part. So I'm going to pattern and I'm going to pattern on path. So again we're selecting features. The feature I'm using is that mortar that I've just drawn. The path, you've got two choices. You go the inside of the arc or the outside. Now depending on which one you pattern to will depend on the, the way they all look for your finished article. Now you can try it on both to get me to find out which one looks best for what you're trying to achieve. Okay, so the path I'm going to try initially is the outside path. Okay, um, and I'm going to, it always seems to come up with this warning whenever I do a pattern on path. I'm not entirely sure why, but it still draws quite effectively when I drag this round. The next thing I'm going to do is drag that arrow all the way up and over, down. I'm going to try and line it up with the lowest mortar on the other side. About there. Now you can't really define a distance because the issue you've got is you don't know what the distance of the arc is. Um, I'm sure there's some maths to work it out, but I'll just try and do this by eye. That looks close enough to me. What you'll see now is it's patterned, but I've only got three cuts. So I'm going to do click on quantity and you can see that the number of ticks going up and the position of those ticks. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to keep adding them until I get them in line with the other mortar lines. Okay, So I think that looks about good but as you can see here the issue that I've got now is they go up this side nicely and then they slip outside the arc. So I'm going to change the orientation from identical to path. And now you'll see that it stays inside. Okay. But what that's done is it's moved them all slightly. So I'm going to just drag that down. Okay. Now you can see I probably want another one in there quantity wise because they're not quite lined up. They're actually not going to line up. Looking at that. Okay, so what can we do there then? Let's go down one. That probably looks the closest I'm going to get. 
So I'll click OK on that. And now I've got my archway going all the way across the top. Okay, nice and simple little tool there to use. Sometimes you've just got to play around with those settings within the, the drop down um, to get to achieve what you're after. Hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please press the like and subscribe button and make sure you're notified when I upload any new content. Thanks for watching.